So this is our local yeast. Between the barrels, heat, heavy lifting, all that grain, and of course beer at Thirsty Pagan, you'll find a lot of men working behind the scenes. But more unexpectedly, here, the boss. We haven't added any of the hops to it. Is a lady. I was doing them as a home brewer before I took over. Allison Rolf says her gender hasn't affected her success apart from some awkward social interactions with customers. I mean, it's happened to me at Brewfest where, you know, they'll, they'll come up and start talking to whatever guy is there. But knows others in the industry haven't been as lucky. They may get the, well, is, is a brewer around? Is there somebody I can talk to about this beer? She and other women working in the local craft brew scene recently teamed up to experiment, landing on their own brew, an amber lager with a name inspired by national politics. So it was a little bit of tongue in cheek with, you know, the whole idea, well, you know, we're making a beer, it were a bunch of professional women. The team dubbed the Lady Brew Crew and their creation Pant Suit began just after the November election and they chose to release it right in line with the inauguration and Women's March on Washington. Being around each other and, and being able to kind of discuss, you know, what does, you know, this this beer mean and what does, um, you know, what our, what our thoughts are and emotions. And in just a few days, this Lady Brew Crew beer is almost tapped out. Pantsuit even outsold the traditional IPA favorite. And we see a lot of men drinking the pantsuit this week. Politics aside, women who drink craft beer in the Twin Ports is on the rise. The nonprofit Barley's Angels hosts brewery socials. Our group has grown so much in the last year. Um, our attendance has almost doubled at a lot of our meetings, which is really great. And I think that also just goes to show that more and more people are becoming interested. Proving pantsuit or not, women are in the brew game more than ever. Cheers.